I'm, I'm just... Uh, for you to get your sneak attack, you need an ally to be engaged with your target, right? Yeah, so you need to stand like here or here. Uh, well, I could spend my standard action throwing another javelin at the shaman, which I will do. Yep, and then you can move to engage the grunt. Exactly, that's my plan. The escalation die is at 3, so let's put that in there. That 12. is just barely a hit. Good. 6 damage. And then move action to engage. And that staggers the shaman. Nice. I'll go ahead and just move you folks over there. Leon's turn. A little bit, um, you know, exhausted from you know, all, the, all the goddamn curses. I'm going to throw another chaos bolt at the shaman. All right. Uh, at D20 plus. Uh, the escalation dice is currently free. Mm-hmm. That is versus physical defense. That's a miss. That is most certainly a miss. Uh, it is a even roll, however, so I believe I still get. Is it? Uh, no, is I don't. It... It's only on a hit. Only he does get damage actually. equal to my level, though. All right, he does take. Once again, you just continue to whittle him down by <laughs> teeny little All bits. All these near misses. All these damn misses are just destabilizing him. All right, Griff. He All staggered. Right. Engage with an ally. Deadly thrust. This is your moment. Like... Two of us spend our turns doing make this possible. <laughs> <laughs> Roll 1d20 plus 5 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that hits his, his armor class. 1d20 plus 5 plus 1d8. 1d20? <laughs> That, that's a oh. big you, you, weapon you, die. You, you roll a 1d20 <laughs> for damage? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Dual skill slash hammers. Six okay. plus five plus two. That's, that's so 13, 13 points of damage. That's uh, over triple the amount of hit points he currently has left. <laughs> Mr. Goblin Grunt is no more. And um, just for the sake of it, my movement. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. No, wait, I have, I have momentum. You do have momentum. I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to use my once per battle to swashbuckle over there. All right. How are you going to swashbuckle over there? Like, okay. like, so, like what kind of, like, <laughs> what are we going for here? <laughs> All right. I'm going to, because uh, I've got momentum, because I successfully hit. Yes. And this takes up a quick action. Now, while it does say that you use the basic attack a part of it, like I'm not going can. to attack him. Okay. Uh, what's going to happen is Tempest, after killing the goblin, after slicing him up, is going to vault on top of his head to get up to the trees, to sprint over the trees, to actually, while he's vaulting over, grab at one of the branches that's above him, use his body weight to snap the branch that's above him as he vaults over to land here. So he's aiming for leaves to either daze and confuse him, or at least surprise him. All right, that will certainly count as having days with the Goblin Shaman. He will take a minus four penalty to attacks until the end of your next turn. And I'm engaged. Yes. Well, uh, you still have your movement this. action then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I engage. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Griff, uh, isn't your sneak attack a d4, not a d8? I got an imp improved sneak attack. Oh, okay. I think it, I think improved sneak attack still increases it to a d6. I'm not sure. It is a d6. I'm sorry. I mean, well, it was triple the damage of him. It's fine. It's fine. He only had four hit points, so yeah, he was dead guaranteed. Well, that's plus five in the middle, yeah. Escalation die goes up to four. As now the uh, Goblin Shaman here, uh, who is dazed, and I even have a little day state, although it does not display. Uh, Damn, because of the damn staggered. Unfortunately, I thought all of the other, uh... I thought, I thought things were properly array. It's fine. I don't give a damn. Uh, he's, uh, he's looking seriously concerned and, uh, contemplating his odds. And because this is a test combat, he's just gonna try and swing at, uh, Tempest anyway with, uh, his pointy spear! This is at a minus four. This will be factored in after I make the roll. As a 10 no. versus armor class. <laughs> that just like bounces off the bark skin. That is the Goblin Shaman's turn. 
All right. Yeah, I'm gonna cast Spark again. Okay. <laughs> that Best is that a hit, and Hooray. he is on his last legs. He's not dead. He's not dead. Anakai. <laughs> he will but, be, I can guarantee. But I, I tell you what, <laughs> any guaranteed damage that equals one will kill him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, just, just, just get me to breathe on him. Bam! <laughs> Goblin Shaman. See, that plus four is so fantastic. It's wonderful. How far away yeah, you cast Makes this crappy thing viable. <laughs> I can only do it. It's a daily spell, so... It's a game like, you, you get hit. You get hit. You get hit. Well, well, magic Missile is like over. a net will. Yeah, but uh, my Earth Stamp is, yeah. is a daily. Oh, yeah. um, uh, I, I do have a question here. What's up? Uh, I think I read that spells that you can use once per battle, out of combat, are basically you can use that once every five minutes or so. Roughly, yes. Roughly, okay. Because uh, my heal spell is something I can use twice it. per battle. Yes, I'm not going to allow you to cheese it. <laughs> so, 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 so we can't use just heal for the bonus plus two instead of using recoveries normally out of combat. Is what you're saying? I'm gonna. I would say that I would allow you to uh, use it once. I suppose I'll say because you used it once this battle. Okay, sure. That makes and sense. And uh, combat is over. You folks are free to take a quick rest. Uh, if you had anything that could recharge, you can uh, recharge. Uh, make recharge rolls accordingly. Uh, you are also free to spend recoveries and make uh, those recovery rolls if you are suffering from a lack of hit points. I see. Gonna... Well, I, I tell them can at least pat Leon on the head. Uh, yes. on, on the back, rather, not on the head. That would be weird. And give him a heal there. Woo! I get to add a plus two, did you say? Plus two. Double my level. It's amazing. The, the, what? The, the book doesn't list anything specific about trying to use heal in that way, but uh, it does have details for uh, for if the players try to do things. <laughs> Eight hit points. It, it, seem, it seems reasonable that, that it would be twice per battle. If you don't use it a battle, then, like, you might be able to use it afterwards. Yes. Same, I mean, yeah. But yes, but roughly, the uh, the once per battle thing, uh, outside of combat, is meant to last five minutes. But it doesn't say that for any everything that could be used uh, once per battle, or twice per battle, or has a per battle, per battle duration. Yeah, I think out of combat... Stuff is just use common sense and you'll be fine. Yes. Uh, with that in mind, then, if you folks have uh, expended uh, any sort of recoveries that you would uh, like to go through, uh, then uh, I will put you folks into the next test combat situation. Sure. All right. Let's not be in the middle of it. <laughs> we'll actually, we'll actually, we'll actually put you in the middle of it this time. Damn it! It's an, it's an ambush. <laughs> it's a narrator's choice. Get out of the middle, it's my spot. <laughs> it doesn't matter because it's just, you know, oh, yeah, it's narrative. Yeah, I know. It's narrative. Man, I, this is like very rustique. Like we were sort of around <laughs> the campfire and everything. We're all in a tent. <laughs> oh, we're all on this side of the campfire. We, we have three tents. Why are we all in the same one? <laughs> because we were like, we heard something. And we all, <laughs> all piled in. And we all hid in the same tent. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, I'm right. the blankets and everything. All right, let's go ahead and uh, Damn it. throw down oh, another oh. enemy type you probably won't end up seeing uh, over the course uh, of... Uh, hey, there's cough, 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 wrong, um, wrong type of um, property on it. Yeah, so, we can see that. So I, I don't give a damn. This is a okay. test combat situation. <laughs> okay. oh, nice. They look very brave. They, yes, that, that is the intended <laughs> effect. You know, maybe, really determined here. Although I will say, maybe they would have had the correct effect if those tokens that I made weren't deleted whenever a German brought down my server, <laughs> forcing me to recreate the token. <laughs> Good job, Jamie. Those are just casualties of Java. <laughs> casualties <laughs> of Java. All I right. Like so in that case, all of you uh, get to roll initiative again. All right. Oh, I got him. Initiative. Oh, that's a good initiative. Damn it. 
I can work with this. All right, we have a... Uh, you should be able to edit your initiative inputs for your tokens on the initiative window. I think you should be able to. Sure. Double, double, double uh -huh. click and click uh -huh. set initiative. Or at least right click and choose set initiative. We have double tempest. You have double tempest. You do have doubles and tempest. I think it's Matt Crow. Double Leon as well. Yeah, it's I because like... I, it, I added all PCs mm. uh, after you yeah, started rolling. Person. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Let's go ahead and push the button for you guys here. All right. And then sort. So, yes, there you are, just sitting by the camp, buying your own business, and suddenly the rustling of of trees, and look up, and there's kobolds. Hi! <laughs> they look very brave, as Manakai noted. <laughs> and it will be Manakai's turn to start us off. Right, and none of them are gathered in a group, so that is lovely. Uh, let's see. Um, probably not going to use Magic Missile here, because that doesn't really do a whole lot when I don't have any bonuses to it. So I guess it's time to use a daily spell. Don't blow the daily. It's time to use, uh, to use an Acid Arrow. All right. Yeah. And uh, since I don't currently... I should probably revise my spell list, but I currently don't really, really have a, a an Ed Will that I can empower. I might as well empower this one. Okay. Um, that means if I hit, I do maximum it? damage. All right, you evoke yeah. it. As I then go for uh, for this one over here, down here. All right. That one. He's uh, he's closest. I don't like him. I don't like the look of him. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna just gonna roll for to hit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that is one d twenty plus four. All right. That's a natural 20. So, uh, instead of 40 damage, I'm seeing 80, 80 points of damage. Alright, so I do 80 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Describe! So what he does simply, he looks over his shoulder and sort of narrows his eyes quickly. You know, this being sort of a swampy, probably swampy terrain. You, you know, expect that there would be some sort of nasty creatures. Damn forests. Uh... He expected him to be probably made of wood and, and looking like sort of a hunched over man with antlers, but, you know, what can you do? <laughs> so he grabs one of the glowing logs uh, from the fire and sort of lifts it up in front of him and almost, like, uses it as his staff for this spell, just weaving the... Dra basically draining the, the heat from it and, and converging it in his hand, sort of shaping it as into a, a ball of sort of glowing green energy. That he then sends flying towards this creature, basically hitting it sort of in the center of its mass, right in the chest, and then simply corrosing that part, letting the the arms and uh, and sort of head and legs just fall to the floor with no torso. He is fucking splattered. As he then says, "Cobalts." All I right, Callum's turn. Okay, uh, Callum will use his invocation of law here. All right, which is a quick action. Uh, I rolled a 6 on the d6, so after 6 rounds, someone can use a reroll, which is going to be super useful, I'm sure. <laughs> and then he's going to move over here, All right. and as a standard action, cast Hammer of Faith. Okay. Until the end of the battle, my basic melee attacks hurt a whole lot more. Yes, they do. Guys, just... Uh, I wish right. you wouldn't leave us alone over here. You're okay. fine. Okay, well, Kobold Warriors, uh, this Kobold Warrior is going to move to attempt to engage Aranos. Unless someone intercepts him from that square. Aranos? Yes. Tarnos. <laughs> I, I, I want to move here. I want to stab him. Stab him. <laughs> Alright, well, you can certainly basically shift yourself so that you would... Uh, no, the, I'm yeah. fine where I am. It was just a, a, I want to ah, okay, 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 so you're not going to intercept him. Uh, are you going to intercept him, Cheap? Yes. Okay, then. You intercept him and stop his movement. Uh, Alright, so now you're engaged. So now this kobold warrior tries to do the same thing and tries to move to engage Aranos. Tarnos. <laughs> Fucking Nos characters. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go right there, right there. No, 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 no. What? What do you want? <laughs> well, okay. If he he's not going to be intercepted, then he will engage Tarnas. Uh, can I intercept twice? No, you're already okay. engaged. The interception only works if you're not engaged. 
Uh, this uh, kobold warrior actually does the same in the process. I imagine that he ends up getting engaged with everyone in the fucking process because it's so narrow and cramped there. And uh, <laughs> this guy. Oh, <laughs> Engage him, Leon, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> go, uh, we'll go ahead and make it attack rolls. This uh, this is one kobold warrior against Callum. I know, Griff. Seriously, I know. <laughs> I, so I'm sorry. I, I might change it because I see your point. It's like it's Callum. Callum. Like yeah, why? I can be, I can be married. It's fine. <laughs> all right. All right. Hit them. All right. Four points of damage on Cal, and uh, nah, he won't use his ability. Let's see, uh, then uh, this will be against Tarnos. Mm -hmm. That will be uh, eight points of damage on Tarnos. Well done. And uh, this will be against Tarnos as well. Looks like That's it's hit, it. so another four points of damage. Huh. Griff communicates with us in his robot language. Bullet is thrown across the room. There we go. <laughs> and then this is against Manakai's character for four points of damage. Yeah, I'm just going to take that. All right. That ends the kobold's turns. Uh, it is now Tarnas's turn. He is engaged with two kobolds. All right. Tarnas awakens from his meditation with two spears in his back. And, um, yeah, he's not really happy about that. All right. So he's going to use uh, Ruination. Okay, sure. And that that's 23 hits. against MD. They all take five points of damage. So how does this look? How does this work? Uh, basically, he uh, turns around and uh, taps into the closest um, couple's mind and just gives them horrible hallucinations and they start like hurting themselves, basically. Okay. So you're making them basically swarm with spiders and they're clawing at themselves to get them yeah. off. Yeah, something like that. N now, <laughs> now uh, is Ruination a close quarter spell? Mm, no, probably not. Okay, then in the process uh, of casting that, the two kobolds will get opportunity attacks on you. This wouldn't interrupt your spell unless they killed you. Alright. So that's going to be a miss, and that's going to be a miss. Oof. Yes. Well, Alright, now, uh, you, you still have your move action. Uh, but I'm engaged, so uh, they will disengage. get Disengage. You, you can attempt to disengage, because you are engaged with two enemies. It would be a 1d20 minus 1, and you need an 11 or higher. Alright. Well, I'm gonna try them. Nope. That is a failure. You can still move away, but uh, that would once again provoke opportunity attacks. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll stay. Alright. It is now Tempest's turn. He finds a kobold kind of like shoved sort of in his face, but he's stabbing at the druid. Oh, I get to go and do a stabby stab. Da, da, yes, da, 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 da. yes, Th that warrior is certainly engaged with lots of people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think. I'm a kicker because a lot of my skills require momentum, and I need momentum. So right, then, then stab something. <laughs> I'm going to try and be a rogue. I'm going to steal something from the kobold. Okay. One D twenty plus five plus one versus physical defense. That is a hit. So go ahead and deal half of your damage. All right, give me a second. So one D eight plus five plus one D six. Yeah. Close. Divide by two. Okay, five. so five points of damage, and uh, go ahead and... All right, so you what take, do I steal? You take, like, his beautiful, like, little belt of teeth, and he doesn't even notice that you've taken his belt. <laughs> he just notices <laughs> suddenly that his uh, his pants fall down. <laughs> I, and I have... All right, now I have a naked goblin stabbing me in the back. I, I'm just, I, I'm just going to give my... What state can I use to show that I have... Momentum? Yeah. You can always use vulnerable. a halo. I'm going to use vulnerable. That seems appropriate. You can always right. use a halo. The, the jazz hands of momentum. <laughs> yes. Like, ooh, now momentum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, here, uh, this is actually an interesting one. Uh, I'm going to ask about this because 
once per battle, if I did it, I could disengage and succeed on it. Yeah. Without actually rolling a disengage. Okay. If I use the swashbuckle, is that okay, Grimoth, or is that like a hmm? Because it's a once per battle thing. Once per battle, uh, let me take a look at Swashbuckler to confirm. There you go. Uh, sure, if you want to, like, fucking, like, disengage from this guy and have that be part of your Swashbuckler, then I would allow you to do that without rolling. It wasn't actually too... Actually, it's, I'm going to try and disengage from him, but I'm not going to do the Swashbuckle, because I kind of want to keep my momentum. All right. <laughs> Yeah, um, go ahead and make a d20 roll. That yep. is a success. You're able to spend your move action to relocate without taking an opportunity attack. I'm going to go over here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's <laughs> the end of the separate you grace there. Traitor. Remember, you're already a completely different square now. No, I'm in a 10. Bitch, I'm in a 10. All right. <laughs> you're ready, Traitor. So you went into the tent to stash your loot, is what you're telling us. Yeah, all right, my all right. I got some. I got some teeth. <laughs> Manic, Manic, I get away. I will engage this thing. Okay. I'm so dead. Man, you should have interrupted him. I considered. It was too late by the time I decided I, I might want to. Yeah. And you know, you're fine taking one hit. You're, you're strong, right? <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to go ahead and just chaos bolt this thing in the face. Okay, that's a close quarter spell, right? Uh, no, but I have the spell fist, meaning I do not provoke from ranged attacks. Right. Ever. There we go. That was one. So I'm going to go ahead and try Chaos Bolt. This is against his physical defense. Yes. I yeah. think that's a critical. Yeah. That, that is definitely a critical. Um, well, he takes 10 points of damage, disappointingly. All right. He <coughs> is also staggered. He was also a natural even, so I get a free Chaos Blessing, meaning I get plus one AC. All right. Chaos Blessing. So if, I don't know. I don't know if you've approved of that to... Because I mean that's chaos magic right there. That doesn't exist in this world. Escalation die. Escalation world die no goes chaos. up to one. I can go uh, to the deep end of chaos if you want, Griff. There's and only it, law. And it is Manakai's <laughs> turn. <laughs> yes. Uh, so let's start by trying to disengage with this thing. Then it's really okay. not pleasant. So. Move, move action. Yeah, it's just a d20, I believe. It's a yep. d20. Do you get escalation die or anything? No, no. All right, just a flat. Yeah, you can get out. Yes, oh, right. you, okay, yes, yeah. you successfully disengaged. Yeah, a waste, from maybe, but you know. <laughs> you, you, you can. Right, so, cool. so that now I'm just here as well. You know? Yeah, yeah. Can I Wait, can I disengage as part of a move action? Yes. But is that I, a double move? Yeah, it, move. D disengaging is part of your move action. You don't have to spend All it right. in order to uh, disengage. Basically, like, awesome. like you could so just. Not, like, I've used no action right now. You have. No, you have if you want to move away from him. You can actually just stand next to him, but it wouldn't count as being engaged. You've popped free. That's what that means. Oh. But does it matter if I move away as long as I'm this square? I mean, he could try re-engaging. Isn't, is it, isn't just a visual thing if I step here? Like, he could try to re-engage with you. As long as I'm in this square, it doesn't matter where in it I am, right? I could be, like, over here. Yeah, it's, like it doesn't here, matter where but, you are. Yeah. It's I just easier for me to remember less... that I'm not engaged if I'm Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right. It's just for uh, visual yeah. effects. Yeah. And, uh, well... Could leave the square, even. <laughs> if if the escalation die was not a single one, I would, I would call spray, but... But is <laughs> it, it is, so I don't want to. The same reason I held back. Yeah. Guys, we'll save you in, in a round. Next turn. <laughs> well, uh, first and foremost, well, actually, I'm pretty, pretty, I'm doing pretty well here. I don't think I need to move further away. Okay. Uh, although he could engage me again. Let's let's go. Let's go over here. There you go. Yeah, I'm tanking him for you. Go. Yeah, let's let's be let's be let's be trying to be safe. Can he engage me even if he's already engaged? He would have to disengage and then move to All engage right. you. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Uh, well, well, this is magic missile him, then I don't have that many options. All right. <laughs> Seven damage. That's just enough. Oh. Well, that's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> How convenient. How convenient. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, yeah. He, get, he gets uh, the, uh, the, the sort of glowing welding uh, sparks as well. Searing his eyes. Burning the redness, making him, you know, slowly bleed out, but at least non -combat combative. All right. That uh, makes it so that it is not Callum's turn. 
Oh, first of all, Ta Thanos gets a pat on the back. Words of encouragement. Oh, thank you. Can spend a recovery with plus two bonus. And then with my standard action, I'm going to, I guess, smack on one of the kobolds I'm not engaged with yet. So I'm engaged with as many people as possible. Because surely that's a good idea, right? All right. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll attack the southern kobold. Okay, that's fine. The escalation die is one. one. Okay. I'm glad we have someone to tank these things. That is a miss, and kobolds in this game have this nifty little ability called evasive. They take no damage from missed attacks. Well, that's you just bastards. mean. <laughs> <laughs> All our one damage abilities. Yes. We all have to miss them 22 times. <laughs> Could I now no. spend my move action to be engaged with all three kobolds? Sure. Okay, let, let's engage everyone. All right. <laughs> so does that mean you're, you're throwing your weight around is what you're saying, Sheep? So that means you actually trigger two attacks of opportunity whenever you attack one. I, no, when, only when he's ranged attacking. Oh, only, yeah, yeah range no, attacks. Only when he's using range attacks. He's using a melee attack, so he doesn't trigger any attacks of opportunity. Yeah, but basically all my important stuff is close quarters. <laughs> okay, well, the Kobold Warriors, uh, they've learned a few things. One, stay the fuck away from that dwarf guy in the back of the Good. tent. Good, yeah. Because, uh, that was, that was illuminating for sure. Uh, but this, uh... This 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 druid guy, you looked pretty tasty and pretty easy to pry open. Let's see if we can do anything about him. But, but I gave them hallucinations. They should be afraid of me. Whap! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it should be a spear rather than a club. Yeah, I just uh, didn't edit that flavor text there appropriately. So yes, uh, that is a uh, that is four points of damage. Yep. And uh, he can pop free from you, but it doesn't matter because he's still engaged with not Callum. This guy targets you as well. That's another four points of damage. And then this warrior here... This warrior here will then try to attack uh, the cleric. And it looks like a hit. That's a hit. For four points of damage. As they just beat down here. Uh, the other two kobolds have met on timely ends. They're done. Now Tarnas' turn. All right. Uh, first, try to disengage. All right, one d twenty minus one. Mm -hmm. That is a success. You can uh, move away just fine and take your normal move action without provoking. Hooray! Move there. <laughs> do do and, do. do. Uh, what, <laughs> Help. What, what kind of terrain is this? This would be a forest type thing, but you also have some uh, river, lake stuff nearby. Mm, so swamp and uh, woods then. Maybe. Mm -hmm. well, I, mm -hmm. But you have used a daily spell. You've used two dailies, haven't you? Barkskin and uh, Earth, Earth yes. Strength? How many but dailies still... do you get? Oh, yeah, I only get one. Yeah, and you and you used two <laughs> in the last battle, and you only no, I get, get I, one. Okay. <laughs> I get the one in each uh, spell category, so to speak. All right. So I have two yeah. daily spells. Right, and you so you cast both dailies, then? I have, yes. Uh, damn it. <laughs> Then I will cast Spark on Goblin Warrior, the... Uh, this guy. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. That nah. does not hit, and uh, once again he is evasive. Whoop! Yep. Sad day. Tempest's Help. turn. Help me right. with your jazz hands. <laughs> jazz on over. <laughs> jazz on over. Jazz on over for a deadly thrust on this kobold. Let's see. Roll 1d8 plus... No, 1d20. Yes, 1d20. Plus 5, plus 2, plus 1, plus 2. Escalation? Escalation's only 1 right now. Uh, plus 1. Uh-oh. That does not hit his armor class. Whoosh! Uh, 1 damage. No. No! <laughs> He's evasive. <laughs> you get nothing. No. You lose. You get nothing. All right, Leon's turn. Move it, moving to get ready in case anything tries to go after our druid. All right. Yeah, but burning arc. I'm going to target two nearby enemies in a group. All right, which two? Okay, those two. Got it. Yep. Actually, actually yeah, on those, those two will be fine. Uh, so that's four. That's one. All right, you hit the second one, but you've most certainly missed the first one. <laughs> 
Very well. Five points of damage, gargoyle minimum. All right. Let's see. That guy then... Nope, he's not staggered yet. My actual move and quick actions can, you know, they can go to the heavens. All right, they go to the heavens. The heavens appreciate your noble donation. Escalation goes up to tune is now Manakai's turn. Oh yeah, it's even. That's awesome. Fantastic, wonderful. 